Hi again, everyone. Uh, nice to have you with us on Getting to Know Your Pacific Tigers. We're at the Alex G. Spano Center in the team room once again. And uh, I'll get to introduce you to a freshman, incoming freshman, Savannah Sumption, uh, with us this week on uh, Getting to Know Your Pacific Tigers. Savannah, welcome. Thank you. Nice to have you with us. You're from uh, Springfield, Utah. Yeah, Springville. Uh, Springville. Yeah. So where the heck is Springville in relation to Salt Lake City, for example? Well, you guys all know where Provo is because you guys play BYU, and we're just right south of that, Okay. the next city south, so about 10 minutes away from there. Oh, okay. So uh, describe the recruiting process in your first year uh, as a freshman. Uh, was it a difficult decision to come to Pacific? Uh, were there other schools involved? And how did you come to choosing the, the Tigers to, to take on your collegiate career? Yeah, so I kind of was recruited a little bit later, um, just that summer right before my senior year. And I started talking to Pacific in the middle, like in the middle of the summer. And so my recruiting process with them was pretty quick. Um, I had talked to a bunch of Utah schools like when I was younger, like I'd been recruited since I was like a sophomore from those mm -hmm. Utah schools, mm -hmm. but I wasn't, I didn't love this, those schools. And so when I'm, when I first started talking to Pacific, I was like, oh, I got to just jump on this. And so I set up a visit. I mean, we set up a visit and I just came out and I just loved it. And Good. so that's how it just all kind of started. Great. Well, it's a beautiful campus, obviously. That's yeah. uh, always a, a good thing. Now, you're six foot two. Uh, in high school, uh, you were d a division or state champions in your freshman year. Uh, do you play more of a center or more of a forward at the high school level? Um, at the high school level, I was always a center. Mm -hmm. I was always the biggest girl. So okay. I loved playing forward when I could, and just like inside and out, but most of the time I was stuck inside. <laughs> Now, you come from an athletic family, and reading a little bit about you, talk about your family and um, uh, who other, what other athletes uh, in your family. Yeah, so my immediate family, um, I have three older sisters and three older brothers, and my three sisters all played volleyball at SVU, Southern Virginia University, and then my oldest brother played football at BYU. And then on my mom's side, she had three brothers who all played BYU football, and oh two of them went on and played in the NFL. Okay. And um, you guys might know Garrett Bowles. He's okay, my sure. cousin. Okay. And he's now playing at Broncos. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, he's my cousin, and that's about it. All right. Well, there's a lot of pressure on you then yeah. to produce, right? <laughs> All right. So, offensively, let's talk about your, your basketball skill sets. What do you like to do offensively? Are you more of a, a low post player? Do you have a little bit of a mid range jumper? How do you score offensively? Yeah, I love playing both. I love playing down low. I more strong in my legs, and so I feel like that's kind of a, more of a strength for me to play down low and post mm -hmm. up. Um, I've always done that, and so playing down low, but I also um, have a good mid-range game. I have a consistent shot. I'm working on the outside. Been doing good with the threes, but really mm -hmm. good low post and mid-range game. Okay. Driving, shooting. The Tigers, uh, how much have you seen Pacific play? Have you seen any games live in the West Coast Conference at all, or have you seen everything on film? And what are your thoughts on the Pacific offense? So I've only seen them play once live when they came and played BYU last year. Um, but I watched multiple games online, mm -hmm. and I love the way they play, just transition and fast, yeah. and I just love that. Up tempo for sure, yeah. which means conditioning will be a big part of uh, whether you can stay on the court or not. So, how do you anticipate getting in good shape uh, to play Division One college basketball this summer, getting ready for the season later in the fall? Yeah, I honestly think that's my biggest thing I need to work on. I've always struggled with endurance, mm -hmm. and that's the biggest thing coming into G Division One basketball. Just to I mean, they're going to naturally just playing basketball like you get into basketball shape or they'll train us to get into that kind of shape. So nothing in specific that I'm going to do, mm -hmm. but we'll be conditioned. <laughs> yeah. All right. Talk about defensive side of the ball. Uh, rebounding, uh, your rebounding numbers were pretty decent. Uh, do you consider yourself a good rebounder? And uh, talk about your defensive game a little bit. Um, my rebounding in high school, I, it was really good. Um, here playing Division One, it's probably not. It's not going to be as as 
good as it was in high school. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just a different game. Um, but I just feel like I have the right people to help me improve upon that so I can get there. Um, defensively, I feel like I'm a really good post defender. I, I'm a little bit slower outside, so mm -hmm. not as much outside with guards. You won a state championship in your freshman year at, at high school. Almost won it again uh, in your senior year, is that correct? You lost by, what, just a point or so? Yeah, so um, my freshman year we won. I was playing varsity, we won that year. My junior year we lost in the state championship game. We got blown out, but we went mm -hmm. to the state championship game and lost. Okay. My senior year we lost in the quarterfinals by, okay. by one. Okay. So we didn't quite make it, but... That's how the road went. <laughs> All right. So besides basketball, obviously that's consumed a lot of your life. Do you have hobbies outside of basketball, and what are they? Yes, basketball and training and lifting. I mean, all of that, I feel like, consumes a lot of my time. Sure. And so I'm tired a lot. I feel like any extra time I have, I just want to take a nap. No. Ah. <laughs> well. I just don't feel like <laughs> I have much free, t free time, but mm -hmm. I would love to take a nap anytime I get. Or I just love being with my family. Mm -hmm. um, I have a lot of family near me, and I don't know. I don't feel like I do much else. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind right. of boring, but. All right. How about uh, study-wise? You're now at the, the college level. What do you plan on studying here at uh, Pacific? Yeah, I plan to go into psychology. Mm -hmm. I've looked, also looked into athletic training, but. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, great. Well, it's nice to have you with us. We need some height, and it uh, looks like you're going <laughs> to certainly provide that. And. Uh, uh, another enthusiastic uh, young player is we're going to have, what, four of them, I think, four freshmen this year on yeah. the team. So uh, certainly a young team to go with the experience. So it was a pleasure to meet you. You too. <laughs> Thank Thanks. you for stopping by, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you very much. All right, Savannah Sumption, we'll uh, talk to you next time on Getting to Know Your Pacific Tigers. Thank you for tuning in.